Hello, and welcome to Video Joe. <sighs> university wasn't supposed to be like this. No, university wasn't supposed to be like this at all. It's supposed to be all beer and pubs and girls and naughtiness, not sitting in on your own on a Saturday night typing stupid, stupid words into a PC. Essays are a fact of university life. Annoying, but tragically essential to your education and future career prospects. However, with the help of a couple of nifty features in Microsoft Office's new bits of kit, you don't need to be away from the parties for too long. Step 1. OneNote. If you're sensible, you'll use something like OneNote during your lectures and research. It's basically a scrapbook in which you can copy, paste, drag and drop all manner of text, graphics, charts, tables and whatever onto pages. This way, all your stuff will be easily locatable and nicely ordered for using directly in your essay. Your work will basically be already done for you. All you need to do is rearrange things and make it sing with flowery prose. Step 2. Templates. It turns out that the boffins over at Microsoft have pretty much done everything for you, apart from the actual words, obviously. Their new software comes with templates, which set up all your bibliographies and citations and contents pages all for you, and smart art. Smart art is sort of like having a graphic designer in your pocket, only one that doesn't answer back or need paying or anything. What's more, you can generally get your grade bumped up a point or two by submitting something that looks pretty. There are easy points up for grabs for presentation. That's what things like smart art and templates are for. Instant gorgeousness in the click of a button. Step 3. Citations. Lecturers are traditionally picky about contents tables and bibliographies. Spotting an error in a book reference at the bottom of the page generally makes their day, so why not circumnavigate all that messy tabbing nonsense and auto-plonk your gloriously user-friendly bibliography directly onto the page? It's all up in the References tab. Simply select a style and click Insert Citation. You can now add a new source and fill it in depending on what it is and where it came from. Magic! Well done. A star guaranteed. Now get back down the pub before chucking out time. Done.